Hi, my name is Shawnee. I'm a third year PhD student in ethnography. I'm originally from Wisconsin and I came to University of Southampton to ultimately become a professor in social anthropology. So right now we're on Highfield campus. It's one of two campuses in the University of Southampton. We just came from the bridge. Uh, it's one of the many campus uh, cafeterias, uh, restaurants, there's bars right behind you, there's kind of bars all the way around, and I, I typically like to come here to do most of my work. Um, I'm quite a social creature, so I like that, that white noise of people having fun and talking while I work and focus on reading and writing. So I came to the University of Southampton uh, because it's, it's maximum uh, three-year study and um, essentially my research is a continuation from my master's degree. So going into the field, um, or this field in particular, I knew I could finish in about three years and the University of Southampton is uh, like completely structured around completing your, your thesis. What I did is I, I did all of those courses within the first year. I did that because I'm a anthropologist, a social anthropologist, so I study culture and people, and that required me to um, go on at least one year's worth of field work, so that's what I did. I did the first year um, on the campuses, the University of Southampton campuses, um, and then once that was done, I did six months in Lille, France, um, hanging out with um, French internationals as well as um, people from Brazil and Germany and just generally a young adult friend group and from there I did another six months in Edinburgh doing about the same thing. Um, so it was very nice that I, I got all of the credits out of the way the first year. I've published recently uh, my first article in the GradNet um, program at the University of Southampton which is a cohort of all the PGR students and they put on a conference and then they have a journal and it's called the Emergence Journal. Uh, and so it, it's basically geared into making you a better researcher and an overall better academic writer. favorite thing about the university is just how diverse it is. I mean, like most universities nowadays are, are quite diverse. Um, Southampton has more than 135 countries represented here. Um, it's very easy to get involved in cultural activities um, uh, from your own cultures and from your own ethnic backgrounds as well as participating in other peoples. There's the Brazil Society and they host um, a fiesta every year and it's a really big party, everyone gets involved, there's all kinds of clubs and sports and pretty much any genre that you want to participate in you can and another good thing about the university, it's very student run as well, so the um, Southampton Student Union or the SUSU, if you have an idea for a society or a club um, and you want to start one, well it's actually quite easy to do that and, and get um, faculty support and administration support and, and that's probably the biggest uh, reason for me coming here is is how supportive they are and uh, primarily my, my supervisors have, have been amazing and well if I have any um, suggestion for people who are looking to do a postgrad degree like a master's or a PhD like me um, is don't make the university location, your primary um, goal. I chose Southampton first because of my supervisor and then because of location. And it's, it's an hour away from London. Uh, it's, we have an international airport here as well, so it's easy to get to uh, Scotland or Ireland or anywhere in Europe or, yeah. I, I'm really glad that I came here. I was part of the GradNet conference and for this it was about, the theme was innovation versus tradition. 
and so because my research deals with youth culture um, and recreational drugs, which includes alcohol, I decided to present on craft beer and how popular it is and how, how global it is for being such a local, uh, authentic product. Using, using the term millennial, that's what we are, um, ages between early 20s and mid 35, um, we're the generational cohort that's pretty much responsible for the reasons you're seeing craft beer popping up all over the world. So even though it was Generation X that, that started craft brewing um, in, within the uh, US context, um, because it was so new uh, in flavor, bold in flavor, um, with, with roots in, in locality and, and regional authenticity and essentially community support. Um, we've made, yeah, I, I'm a big defender and a big deliver, believer that uh, today's youth culture is the reason why there's craft beer uh, in Mexico, there's craft beer in, in the UK, which already had a very strong uh, beer tradition, but now we're seeing more colorful labels and more exciting flavors. So that's what I do. If you like the video and you want to learn more about top universities, please click that link right there.